and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very exciting video that I have been planning for about a year. Now I know that sounds a little bit extra but I genuinely have been thinking, conceptualising, designing, getting to this stage where I can show you my dream wardrobe for about a year. If you are new to my channel we reserved this new build property that we live in now just over a year ago. We expected to be in within six months but because of so many reasons it ended up taking a year. So that meant I had a year to think, to plan, to design, to build my dream wardrobe and I'm so so excited to share that with you today. So you do get a little bit of a sneak peek behind me so you know don't pay too much attention. <laughs> so in this video I want to take you through the whole process from designing, ordering to building my dream IKEA Pax wardrobe. I'm so excited, I'm so excited to share this with you. I obviously make fashion content for YouTube and Instagram and so because of that I'm really really lucky to have a lot of clothes so I really wanted somewhere where I could store all my clothes, actually be able to see what I have and make the most of this amazing room that I'm in because we did purchase a four bedroom house, we're very very lucky to have that amount of space and there is just the two of us so it means that I get this room as my wardrobe beauty filming space so I'm very very excited to take you through this journey. So I'm going to take you through the whole process. I'm going to talk to you about some of my top tips when it comes to planning the wardrobe, show you how to use the IKEA Pax Planner in case you're thinking about designing your own wardrobe, and then show you the long, long, long journey of me building and putting this wardrobe together. And it was long. It was long. <laughs> I think I was like, oh, it's going to take me a day, maybe two, and then like five days later, I was still here. So we've got lots of time lapses, lots of clips to show you, and then finally the reveal of how it all looks. So firstly, I want to just give you a couple of top tips that really helped me when it came to putting my final design together. The first top tip is know what you want from your wardrobe. And I know that sounds a little bit ridiculous and a little bit obvious, but it can get so exciting playing around on the design tool putting all these fancy drawers and different like storage things into your wardrobe but when it comes to it is it what works best for you so I really thought about what clothes I have what is it that I want to store in my wardrobe and what space do I have I thought about for my long dresses how long are they how long does that space need to be I measured out how much space I needed above the rails to be able to put the coat hangers on I measured how high my ankle boots were so that I knew the space that I needed for those ankle boots I wanted to make the most of every inch of space that I had so planning was really important and trust me when I show you some of the designs that I went through you'll learn that I did not plan to begin with it wasn't until the later stages where I realized maybe I need to think through what I'm doing here just a little bit more carefully tip two specifically applies well it applies in all cases but also really really applies in new builds and that is check your measurements so when you buy a new build off plan like I did you will get a floor plan and you will get some measurements but what I hadn't realized realized maybe sillily <laughs> I didn't realize that the floor to ceiling measurements and the floor the the wall to wall measurements were the bare bones of the house so it didn't include any carpet and it didn't include um like all the stuff that goes to, into the walls like insulation and pasteboard and all these things that make it a little bit smaller so my first wardrobe plan would not have fit in this room so thank goodness we had lots of time and we came back and we measured up before we actually ordered because it turned out I needed to get a um less wide wardrobe and the shorter wardrobe so I could have had a very very expensive mistake had I not come back and measured so measure 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 check before you order. With the wardrobes there are two different heights that you can get and there are three different widths that you can get so oh and two depths as well so you can really be creative and fit whatever space you have but just make sure you know make sure you know <laughs> what your measurements are and the third thing I would say is know your budget before you go in. I think this is again where it can be really easy to get carried away and whilst in the grand scheme of this kind of setup the pack system is not relatively expensive like if I wanted what I'd got from like a fitted wardrobe company I would have been looking at 
three, four times the price. I will talk to you about pricing as we go through. I'll share all the information. Um, but just set your budget because like I said, it can add up really quickly as you get excited and add all these different things. So for example, I didn't put doors on. One, because I like the aesthetic of it being open, but two, because doors would have doubled my price. <laughs> just think about what your budget is and set your hard stop point. Like I will not go above this point because it's very easy to quickly increase the price of your packs. So the last and probably best top tip that I'm going to give you is to use the IKEA packs designer tool on the IKEA website. I'm going to show you that in a moment but trust me that was the thing that made this process as easy as possible. You can literally design your room on there, see how it's going to fit in the space, play around with all the different options. The best thing you can do if you're going to get a packs wardrobe is to use the designer tool and like I said I'll show you that in a minute but I just want to run you through you know a couple of my initial plans that helped me to learn, to help me to really learn these top tips along the way. I just have millions, probably not millions, I have tens of tens of screenshots of various IKEA packs wardrobe designs on my phone. So I'm going to talk you through some of them now and talk you through why I didn't go with that design. Then we'll have a look at the design tool and finally I'll show you my wardrobe design. And then the fun part of me building it um, begins. I can call it fun now because it's done <laughs> at the time not so fun. So this is my first attempt at designing my wardrobe and this is before I realised that the room was thinner and shorter than I had expected. The thought process behind this one is that I wanted to have lots of space for my long hanging dresses. I have a lot of dresses and I'm quite tall so I wanted a good space for those as well as a space for my shorter items like tops, jackets and trousers. I wanted lots of space for shoes which is what I thought the space across the bottom and the shelves would be for and then the space at the top is where I envisaged putting my handbags and then drawing drawers were for, you know, the stuff that goes in drawers, socks, jogging bottoms, pyjamas, that sort of thing. And I added two pull-out trays with jewellery sections, so that would have been for all my jewellery, sunglasses, watches, that sort of thing. I loved this design. Looking back at it now, I think I prefer what I have, which is really, really nice. It's nice to prefer what you have. But yeah, this would have been wonderful had I had the ceiling height. What I don't have now is that section across the top, which is where the handbags would have been. I had to lose that because I had to go from the full height IKEA wardrobes, which were 236 centimetres, to the shorter ones, which I believe are 201 centimetres. So I lost that bit of space at the top. For my second design, I still hadn't yet realised about the dimensions of the room but what I was thinking with this one is that I probably needed less drawers and I wanted more hanging space so yeah there's a lot of hanging space in this wardrobe and knowing what I have now I have less hanging space I definitely did not need the amount of rails that I have in this wardrobe I think yeah it would have been nice to have all that extra space and be really spread out but it was not needed and would not have been the best use of space I think I would have struggled for shoes in this one I would have put my bags across the top um maybe put some pretty things in the shelves in the central section but the two end frames where I've got the shelves for shoes I think it would have been a bit of a struggle to get them all in so again on reflection glad to not have that and I actually <laughs> I actually put together a little diagram to really just plan through what I was doing oh I had more space for shoes okay so the three in the middle were for bags and then I had lots of space for shoes okay probably could have worked but again too many rails I did not need that many rails and again wouldn't fit in the space but you can see how much time and energy I spent on trying to get this wardrobe design perfect it's a little bit extra I do have to say that's a little bit extra but hey it's something I have dreamed of so then I played around over and over again with various similar versions of what you've already seen that's when I realized that hmm those measurements don't quite look right and I had to rethink everything. There were many, many, many more iterations of slight changes in between these, but we would be here all day if I showed you them. And they are sort of slight variances that led me from that original design to my final design, which is what I have now. So this is the design of my wardrobe. Ah! <laughs> 
I absolutely am so happy with this design. It was 100% the right choice for me. It fits my needs perfectly. So let me run through this design with you. So we have the two outside frames. This is for my longer hanging dresses and just dresses in general. Underneath we have a pull out tray which is for shoes. You'll see all this as I'm building the actual wardrobe. Next we have some smaller hanging space. This is again for shorter dresses but tops, jackets, trousers, that sort of thing. And then underneath we have another two pull out trays for shoes. In the middle we have two sections. The first one has a little glass shelf and these are for like nice handbags, decorative bits, it's what you can see behind me <laughs> and then under that I have a pull out tray for jewellery and then I have five drawers which are for all my bits and bobs that need to live in drawers so bras, socks, swimwear, that sort of thing. I did end up having to go for the 75 width wardrobes because of the amount of space that I have. That was the best way to fit the most amount of frames within my space and also I have a little bit of thing about things needing to be symmetrical so it had to had to be symmetrical otherwise I wouldn't have been happy so 75s worked out best for me and like I said I had to use the 201 height because it just it wouldn't have fit so it does mean I have some space above so I'm going to look into what I do with that space. I also picked lighting which hasn't been installed just yet because I'm waiting for the final part to be delivered but I added some lighting so I'll talk through the options with you in a little bit more detail in a moment but I just want to show you very quickly the IKEA PAX designer site just in case you've never used it just to to give you a little bit of a quick tour so you know how how I used it to get to where I got to and then we'll start the building process. So the first thing you're going to want to do as you might expect is go to the IKEA website and we're going to search for the PAX planner. IKEA do have lots of different planners for some of their systems so it is worth checking out but today we're looking at PAX. So first of all it gives you some suggestions but we want to design our own we're freestyling <laughs> it does let you choose a wardrobe layout so if you're looking for it with a bit of inspiration that's a great place to start but we design from scratch so Firstly, what you want to do is get the room set up to your specific dimensions. This is going to really help you to envisage what the space is going to look like. But annoyingly, you can't get to that part. It's really, you just can't get to that part of the process until you have a frame in place, which is really frustrating. And you might not find this part of the process because of that if you didn't know. So we put a frame in place and you can click continue. Then once you're in this part of the system, you can click room design and you can change the size of the room. Why this isn't an option from the get go, I do not know. But what we're gonna do is put in the dimensions of my room that I'm in now. So it's 395 centimeters long. Height wise, it's 232. Uh, and depth wise, we are looking at 280. So this is the space that I'm working with and it just allowed me to really envisage what my wardrobe would look like. So let's delete this because, you know, we just put that there to get started. So the first thing you wanna do is pop in your frames. So I'm gonna build my wardrobe for you so that you can see how I put it together. So I wanted the 58 centimeter depth wardrobes because that's what I needed for my coat hangers. You can have the thinner ones, but they don't work so well as like a standard wardrobe. And I knew that I needed 201 centimeters in height. And after months of playing, I knew that what I wanted is the 75 centimeter wide wardrobes. So pop that in place. You can press this handy little duplicate button here and it adds as many as you want. So you can see I could get five and it fills in the space for you. So this is my basic frame. So next up you wanna add your interiors. So click the frame you want to add things to. And I started off with my rails. I knew that I wanted rails in four of the five frames. So you just add your rails. There's so many different interior items to pick from. This is where you can really, really have a play and experiment. I knew in this middle one that I wanted some drawers. So I added the drawers you can just really play around with where you position them. I wanted five so you can click on the drawer that you've already put in and press copy 
is it du oh it's duplicate so that you can add them in you can also add various shelves so if we look in the interiors for this frame you've got the basic shelf and you have glass shelves so I have a this might not be the exact height at where I have everything positioned but it's the same interior I have a glass shelf in the middle and then I have a normal shelf here underneath this shelf I have a little tray which is where I'm going to store my jewelry so this looks like like where is it pull out tray you can add various um, jewelry trays into this they do sell them but I'm not the biggest fan of the ones they have so I'm going to buy my own so we just want to reposition everything so you can really see what it's going to look like and there we have the center column complete so then using the measurements that I'd already picked I just added in the rest of my components until I got to the point where I had my final wardrobe let's open that design up so I can show you now and this is the good thing about this system when you've put your design together you can save it and you get a code which means that you can come back to your design at any time I will pop this code in the description just in case anyone wants the exact same wardrobe as me or wants to have a play around with it you can get onto this using the code that I will pop in the description box so this is my finished wardrobe as you can see this did come to 748 pounds the reason that it is a little bit higher in cost is because I added lighting lighting is really important to me because this is a filming space so I have added lighting across the top of each wardrobe and across this glass one here they're called the Norfly lights they aren't too expensive at 15 pounds each but you also have to buy um, various wires and drivers and things to be able to make the system work so having the lights did add about 120 pounds onto my cost so if you don't need lights that save you a lot of money but as you can see here I have my my two long hanging sections I have my pull out trays for shoes again this added a bit more cost you don't need to have pull out trays but I wanted to be able to just see all my shoes really easily I have two of those on these frames and here I have my glass shelf with my jewelry tray and my straws. Then all you do is click finalize. It will add everything to your basket and you can go ahead and order. So that is how I designed my Dream Packs wardrobe. I hope you found that helpful or um, interesting. I have watched so many videos of people building packs wardrobes, designing packs wardrobes over the past year and I love them. So I thought I'd do that for you. But now we get on to the exciting part it's time to build the wardrobe so we're gonna rewind back in time to the many 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 boxes that got delivered and needed carrying upstairs so that I could build my wardrobe <laughs> casualties we haven't stood it up yet but I think all is good so one last look at the wall before it's filled with wardrobes <laughs> honestly I'm so excited I've been dreaming about this for a very long time now we just need to stand it up and hope hope it doesn't collapse <laughs> Wardrobe number two has been built. So I'm not filming us building every wardrobe because I'm pretty sure you'd get bored of the same time lapse over and over again. But you can watch the exciting part of us putting it in place. It's exciting for me. I'm hoping it's exciting for you, but we shall see. <laughs> You'll have to excuse the state of me. I appreciate that I've got, I'm a mess, 
but you know this building work is is hard but there we go two wardrobes in three more to go how excited are you about that prospect <laughs> okay day two of building the pax wardrobe <laughs> um so we got two of the five done yesterday um and then we stopped because we were tired and we needed a break so day two we're back at it just brought one up because that's the fun bit we've got five of the like frames but we have to carry them each up two flights of stairs and they are heavy um <laughs> so that's the hardest bit it's not building them it's getting them up the stairs um so yeah i've got another one here to build and then there's two more to bring up and then i can start building the insides which is the exciting bit and i can start to see how it's coming together but just as a recap this is where i got up to yesterday we've done two there is stuff absolutely everywhere <laughs> um so yeah I'm gonna get on with building the third one and then I'll come back to you when I'm putting it up. Um, yeah, it's gonna be faster for you guys than it is for me. <laughs> it's gonna be like a second for you guys, but for me, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little while. So um, yes, stop procrastinating. Let's get this done. Wardrobe three is built. <laughs> I'm definitely getting faster at these. Um, so yeah, we're going to stand it up over halfway of the wardrobe, like frame building. And then the fun begins with the interiors. So, you know, the drill, let's stand it up. Lift, shuffle towards us. Treat it nearly done and get by a packed wardrobe. I don't know if this is interesting for you guys but number three is up two more to go <laughs> you can kind of start to get an idea of what it's going to be like and i'm honestly so excited i hope this is interesting for you guys it's always hard to know but i love watching videos like this so hopefully you do too <laughs> so we just brought the two final frames up the stairs um so i'm glad that part of the process is over um now i need to build those and then we get on to the interior which is the exciting bit i can start to like see it come together so yeah i just need to push through and get it done <laughs> intended to spend this long building this but we've had so many other things to do that it's been very stop starty so yesterday i managed to finish putting up all the frames with adam's help let me show you so this is where we're at so far got the five frames built so now i get the fun job of building the drawers and the shelves and really bringing it to life. But I think the first thing for me to do is to start building the drawers because the rest is just like rails and shelves, which hopefully, hopefully <laughs> won't be so hard. So if I build the five drawers that are going in the middle one, and then, yeah, 
take it from there. But yeah, it's. I think by the end of tonight, I will have it built, which is so exciting. And then on to organising, decluttering, filling them up, which is the real fun part. So yeah, I'm going to start with the drawers. I've got five drawers and then the rest is like shelves and stuff. And there are the lights to put on, but I'm going to get Adam to help me with that. And there is a part that I need before they all work. They just didn't have it in stock, so I need to buy that. Um, but we can fit them all for now. They just won't work. But yeah. Let the draw building commence. I swear the hardest thing with Ikea is getting into the packaging. Like this isn't too bad, but trying to get into the boxes for the frames. Like honestly, I nearly <laughs> broke a few fingers. Um, but there's not as much glue on these, but they need to have like a pull tab. <laughs> so you can easily open them because it's a little bit ridiculous. Um, but yeah, <laughs> these are a little bit easier, but yeah, see, it just comes off like this. You have to really rip it. I'm sure there's a much easier way. Also, excuse the fact that I'm still a state. <laughs> um, there was just no point me washing my hair today because we've been moving again. We uh, moved the rest of the stuff. I'm sorry if this cardboard is it's very loud while I'm trying to talk to you. Um, but yeah, we moved the rest of the stuff, so now there's just unpacking, but all the heavy lifting is done, which is great. Also, if I sound a bit croaky, I think the week of moving has just caught up with me, and my voice has said, enough is enough. <laughs> but yes, right, let me get on with building this drawer, rather than procrastinating by talking to you, lovely lot. continues it's day four five i started on friday saturday sunday monday day four of pax building <laughs> today is the day i'm gonna finish it like i said in a clip yesterday we're having to do it bit by bit because we've got so many things to do um you'll have to excuse me if i sound a bit breathy and a bit throaty i think I think I might have a chest infection. <laughs> no girl, it was not a chest infection. You had COVID, you just didn't know it at this point. <laughs> um, but either that or I've just got like a sore throat and a bit of a sore chest, but it's not too major. So um, I am gonna slowly but surely continue with this today. Let me show you where we got up to yesterday. So we got the majority of the middle one done and I love it. So these are gonna be the drawers for my like um, underwear and uh, swimwear and jogging buttons, that sort of thing. Um, this tray is gonna be my jewelry tray. So I'm gonna get some dividers to put in. Let me know if you know of any like cute dividers that work for like PAX pull-out trays because I know PAX ha like have some, Ikea have some for the PAX but I'm not the biggest fan of them. Um, so I know you can get them on Amazon and stuff so let me know if you know of any but yeah. This one I just need to do a couple of shelves and I'll be finished. And then the rest of them, they all, all four of them need a rail and then they need some shelves and some pull-out trays for my shoes. And then once we put the lights on, it's done. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started. I might put the rails up, I might do that. I hope you're enjoying the time lapses because there's a lot of time lapses in this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna 
I am gonna finish this today. I'm pledging. Oh, and I finally managed to wash my hair. Um, don't, still don't have any makeup on because I'm building, so I don't need makeup on. <laughs> right, I am gonna get going. And today is the day I'm going to finish it. Wish me luck. So that is it for part one of this journey. Obviously, part two is me filling up the wardrobe with all my stuff. That's coming in a separate video because this is already long enough. And I thought what I could do is just do a whole video of me putting this whole room together. So that is coming very soon. I'm so excited to show you this space in its entirety. I love it so, so, so much. And I can't wait to share it with you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments if you have, if it's helped you, if you're thinking about building your own Pax wardrobe or if you're just like me and just enjoy watching these kind of videos anyway. Thank you so so much for watching. Part two is coming really really soon so keep an eye out for that. Thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!